Hey guys, it's Phoenix, and what I have today is a bit of a cute video, a bit of a showcase. You can see all the people staring at me right now, or well, they're actually just looking at the distance. Um, before I start it, I want to show you guys something that happened to me yesterday. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so my headset snapped in half. Um, I am literally recording this video with sound coming from only one side of my headset, and I'm going to be editing this video with sound coming out from only one side of the headset as well. Uh, which I can assure you is physically painful. <laughs> so all of that aside, I want to show you guys what I have for you guys today. And it is people. Uh, literally people. Now this idea was thought of by Athesi Yell, and she also modeled and created all the textures for this. So she is an absolute genius of the team, as some of you would already know. So um, I have a lot of variety of people, a lot of races, a lot of uh, different ages. So we've got kids, we've got adults. Um, but the whole point of uh, this resource is for gyms. So we're really close to completing the first gym, the Virgil Town gym, and we really wanted to make a very grandiose environment. So if you haven't seen the Virgil gym, I strongly suggest you guys go and check out uh, my Twitter page because I have been flooding it with screenshots of the Virgil gym. Uh, for those of you who follow me, you can vouch for that. <laughs> uh, it looks really awesome, um, and I really wanted the arenas to have crowds, so people staring at you. <laughs> people. <laughs> Yeah, not not that creepy, but, uh, you know, witnessing the whole fight uh, go down, and it is a very tough battle. I have tried it out already. Um, so the way this works is uh, the way we have all these varieties of people is we have what we call randomization. So just as you may have seen earlier in my Pokemon block model videos, uh, with the Acacia Slabs, if you place them uh, like this, they will randomize their textures depending on uh, basically where you place them in the world. So if I place one right here, uh, it's going to have a different model. If I place one right here, it's going to be a closed crate. So the way this works is with uh, people, we've basically assigned the monster eggs because we haven't actually used them yet uh, with these models. So if I place a cobblestone, it's going to be a dark skinned man uh, wearing a yellow shirt, just like this guy. <laughs> but he's shorter. Uh, and so if I place the same block here, it's going to be a blonde. If I place one here, it's going to be a ginger. Uh, that's really short. And so on and so forth. So uh, every time I place one side by side, they're going to be facing the same way, but a different model. With these different monster eggs that I have in my inventory, they basically face the different orientation. So these will face the other side. So with the cracked one, you can see this is facing forward, and this one's going to be facing back. So using this um, concept, we are able to create crowds facing uh, all four cardinal directions uh, without having to use too many textures. And it looks really cool, and I think it really will add to the atmosphere. So they will basically just stand here, stare at you. You won't really notice them when you're battling, so you'll be facing forward, there will be the battle going on. Uh, and then if you just look around, you'll see the crowds of people <laughs> just staring at you, um, increasing the pressure. I don't know. But um, this will only be used for the gyms. Probably won't be used for anything else. Uh, Elite 4, maybe. But we wanted to really add some oomph into the battles because that's one thing we will definitely be able to achieve with the 3D environment that we have available to us with Minecraft. So otherwise, if you guys have any other suggestions for gym battles, what you want to add, and what your thoughts are on what we should do with the gyms, because we can really customize it with all the potential that we have. Otherwise, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more creative content and Pokemon updates. There is a major monthly update coming out uh, next week, or about a week or so from now, with also vacancies in the team that have popped up. If you guys are eager to join the team, uh, make sure to stay tuned on my subscription feed. Otherwise, thanks for watching. As always, take care.